So, it's all very well talking about the problem. Let's talk about the fix as well. In the container's life cycle, unit tests are kind of run in isolation. And I'm taking the test pyramid and I'm superimposing my own view over the top. In this case, unit tests are static or dynamic analysis on the container itself. Integration tests are probably more dynamic analysis inside the container, maybe akin to actually testing the public APIs of the application inside the container. Why is that important? Because the configuration changes with each environment that we promote it through. The container stays the same, but its behavior is dependent upon environment variables or config that we mount in. So we have to test an end-to-end -end test for that. That's the full system, essentially. So what can we do for static analysis for doc files? We can lift them, and we can determine whether or not we have done certain things wrong. Something that we can't do, or that is in fact very difficult to do, is identify which user was running, because that is a runtime construct, and we can switch users in the entry point, for example. So we probably, oh, ha -ha. also you can do it for Kubernetes with uh, Kubesim, a sec rather, which is static analysis for Kubernetes resources. This will tell you, do not mount XYZ, and it will give you a risk score to try and quantify the danger of running a particular configuration. There are lots of things that you can do in a pod YAML to break it. Right, so what about dynamic testing? Well, we can use InSpec. It's heavyweight. It's Ruby. Do you want to install Ruby inside your container? Hell no. What about Service Spec? Well, it's still quite nice, but again, the same problem. It's Ruby. So what do we use? GOS. Go Service Spec. It is simple, declarative, highly parallelized, and written in Golang. What does that say? Cloud native. Hooray. So. This is what GOS looks like. You have a simple YAML-based format. It runs everything by, with default with 50 threads or Go channels. And uh, in this case, command is the type of test, and the key here is a version. So we're just making sure that our base container, we have a contract with it that it's shipping something to us. Right, obviously, you can use GOS for anything and everything, and I recommend it to the house.